Hey guys, it's Caitlin here and welcome back to another video. So today we are starting a Create a Pet series and I was actually sort of inspired to do this because I've seen a lot of people as cats and pets, I'm um, sorry, cats and dogs has been released. A lot of people have been really creative with the paint tool and I sort of wanted to get on, like get in on that creativity I suppose because I... I myself, I do, I, 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 I'd say I'm, I'm talented in, in terms of like sketching and things like that. Painting, I'm, I'm not that good at painting just because I'm not good at mixing colors and things like that. But seeing as I don't actually do much art lately, I thought it would be a good idea to kind of do something a little bit more creative in The Sims, painting a pet. And you know, I've seen somebody else, they've done Pokemon pets, um, Mr. Gluon was doing the, I can't remember what they're called, but the little gaming characters that come with the kids stuff pack, he's like painting all the pets as those little characters, I cannot for the life of me remember what they're called. Um, and I wanted to do something that I enjoy, uh, so I decided I was going to paint all of the Marvel characters. Now I'm hoping I will get another one done before I go away. Um, I've only got a couple of days left till I leave, so, but these videos probably only take me like maybe roughly an hour and a half to do, depending on the amount of detail. I have done so far Captain America and Thor, so hopefully you guys are excited to see Thor because he will be coming out mm -hmm. soon. I think that Captain America will be released first, I think, just because he's the first one I do. I kind of like to upload things in the order that I, I, I edit and record and things like that. So I think Captain America will be first. Um, he's not my favourite though. However, he's not my favourite. He was just... Um, I think the reason I decided to do Captain America because I felt like he had the less amount of detail and being the first creator pet of this type that I was doing, I kind of wanted it to be relatively easy, like not too difficult, uh, just to actually see if it will work first because I had no idea if it was going to work or anything like that. Um, but it did, and once I finished Captain America, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna keep creating Marvel characters because let me just say, I am currently like really obsessed with Marvel. I've always really enjoyed Marvel, um, you know, Marvel movies. Just always enjoyed them. Apart from like, like the earlier movies, Marvel movies, I found them kind of lame, kind of boring. But the ones that have been coming out, you know, recently, just like the newer versions of everything. I just think they're really good and I really like them. I just, I, I really do. So from that obsession uh, comes a Marvel creator pet and I actually had really like a lot of fun doing it. Um, it was very tedious sometimes though because um, if you guys have tried to paint, like really paint something different on a pet yet and create a pet, some, sometimes there's like spots on the animal that you can't exactly reach. Um, and there's only so far that you can scroll up to certain sections, so it's really hard to get a lot of fine detail in. Um, especially because, like, the dog will change its position if you, like, scroll in too much and things like that. So, yeah, I don't know. It was enjoyable, nonetheless. But, yeah, so, I was actually going to do a speed edit as well for the thumbnail for this video. But I was playing around and just testing things out and just seeing what would work, like I mentioned in my Dutch Colonial build that I usually tend to just plan things out a little bit before um, pressing record. So that's what I was doing and I got a little carried away and was like, you know what, I don't really want to remake this thumbnail, I'm just going to leave it as is um, and just do a speed edit on my next video because I have been wanting to do a speed edit. I watch quite a few, I've been watching a lot of Hatsies lately, I always see her, like her edits and think they're like really awesome but I've never actually gotten around to watching them until just recently um, and just watching her, you know, the process that she goes through creating them, it's really fun to watch actually um, and I've been watching Zistel create them as well and she's got some really cool ones, she's only just started out and I think because she started out and I can see what she is doing like for a beginner I really want to start trying to create those kind of things so I thought I would I thought I would give it a shot and I'm not too sure how well I did I think the Thor thumbnail that I did is a lot better than the Captain America um, personally um, 
which I do have a speed edit for the Thor um, creator pet as well. So yes, I have done Captain America and Thor. Thor was very difficult. Sorry if you guys can hear my phone buzzing. I'm actually recording um, this voiceover straight after I recorded the voiceover for my Dutch Colonial build. Um, again, because these are pre-recorded, these will like seem like weeks apart or days apart. I don't know. I don't really... I haven't exactly planned what day which video is going up yet so yeah so um, I did mention like in my Dutch colonial build that my phone kept going off because my mom was messaging me and she's still messaging me as I'm doing this voiceover so hopefully I'm, I'm gonna try not look at it this time because when I was doing my voiceover for my Dutch colonial I was really distracted and I just kept looking at my phone I couldn't help it it was just there it was right there so I had to read it and I just got distracted and usually I like when I start to read the text messages it'll kind of like like um stop the flow of my voiceover I suppose and it just ends up turning into a little bit of a a, a, a slush or something like that because I just forget everything I was talking about and things like that so I'm gonna try not to look at that because I heard another message just come through and you guys probably heard it too so I just need to put that to the side and not look at it so we have Christmas coming up soon and I'm going to be in Cook Islands for Christmas which is kind of like for me I feel a bit sad about that because I know whenever there's a celebration like the whole community Sims community that is like goes all out like everybody has heaps and heaps of like um season seasonal videos like Halloween there was so many spooky videos and things like that it was really cool and I know there's going to be so many Christmas videos and I'm just going to miss out on them because I'll be overseas with terrible internet and one of the things I'm really sad about missing I want to try and watch some of the episodes at least while I'm over there um if I can find anywhere that has an allowance of um wi-fi or something like that um hopefully fingers crossed I have no idea but um Spring Sims uh Sims Showcase I'm gonna miss it I'm so sad because I really liked that last year I it was actually funny I came across Spring Sims last year because of his Simmers showcase and it's funny because he was showcasing other Simmers but I found his channel through his showcase because the Sims 4 was sharing it around and things like that and it was really cool and through his showcase I was able to meet new people um, and you know watch new channels and things it was just really cool and I think it's a nice way of giving back to the community it's cool as well how he doesn't care how big or small you are he will share your channel anyway and you know I think that's that's what it's like a lot these days I think a lot of us when we first begin a channel or if we don't even have a channel if we're somebody watching from the outside we we don't really know what happens within the community so a lot of the times I think that we probably assume that bigger youtubers will only promote people who are as big as them or who aren't far behind them but it's cool in uh steven's case or spring sims case that he doesn't care if you're small he doesn't care if you're big he if he thinks that you deserve to be seen he will share you know your work in his in his sim showcase and i just think it's really cool and i i actually really wanted to do my own showcase um, from inspiration from his like maybe not not 25 days but just now and again like you know sharing a a person's channel or just a person in general whether they have channel or not just their work that they do in the game just give them recognition for what they've created because a lot of people do create some awesome things um, and I must say a lot of the time I watch people's builds and I am guilty of not commenting so that's something I need to change anyway we are at the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all when I get back from the Cook Islands and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the lineup of videos that I have for you guys while I'm away anyway thank you for watching and I will see you in two months time bye guys